one of the things that's unique about this airplane is, like we were talking about on the jet bridge, this is not our typical configuration. Even though the first class seats look kind of fancy, uh, I think they've been used in <laughs> numerous flight test programs. Yeah, they're not so, unique. Uh, so this is uh, not what you typically expect to see. Uh, did you have a chance to play with the windows yet? No. Have they shown you the 787 I, I, windows? I have, yeah, I've seen oh, okay. before. Yeah. Okay. So I've, I've slept plenty on 787. Yeah, he, he, oh, he, he just dockens it. Yeah. Perfect. I have a question for you. Yep. So, what does the role that Boeing plays for integrating the passenger experience for an Emirates flight or an Etihad flight? Is, Etihad knows exactly what they want for their first class passengers, business class passengers. Well, how do you guys translate that into seats and movie going experiences and catering? Yeah, so we've got a, a, a great group of engineers to the customer engineering group and our interior engineering group that work with our customers to design those unique, uh, those unique experiences for their customers based on their markets, based on uh, who they're serving, where they're flying, what type of flight experience they want to differentiate themselves by. But if you walk down each of these airplanes out there on the flight line, you see a really different and really unique. Unique interior for each of them. Michelle used to run the engineering group, the okay. interiors group, because that does the fit yeah. And a lot of that work's done with the customer. Yes. So yep. it really is a representation of the customer's culture. Yeah. That's what I was wondering, like, how 